Hello everybody, welcome back to the third episode of Champions Explained. Today, as you can see, we are gonna go with Slash, so let's jump in the game. So, um, Slash is basically a light champion, of course, and she has a unique movement that you can find only on uh, Slash, uh, on uh, Stroke, uh, which is called Crouch Sliding, okay? So basically, it's different to the previous two moments that we saw in the in the previous videos. So if you haven't checked them out, uh, I suggest you to check them out. Uh, and where I talk about Nyx and Anarchy, which they have different movement. Uh, they have VQ3 and uh, air, air jump, you know, circle jump, air jump, and so on. So I already talked about it. And uh, yeah, I suggest you to watch them if you want to learn something new. Maybe if you are a beginner. Again, as I said, I repeat it every video. Um, this uh, series is mainly for new people that are playing Quake and they're like, are really new to the game. So if you are already advanced or like uh, intermediate, maybe these things you already know about them. But just in case, pointing it out for the new people that are approaching Quake, okay? So, let's jump into a game and I will show you why Slash is one of the best champions in the game. Let's load in. Oh, first of all, uh, to crouch, which I will show you later, you need to have uh, a bind, okay? So, instead of moving with your normal, like, uh, uh, VASD, you know, space and so on, you need to uh, also have this bind, which is the crouch. And I suggest you to put somewhere where you, it's really easy for you to press while you are also jumping. For example, I, I use jump, I use space to jump. So I don't really use the keyboard, but I use the mouse button, this one. The, la the lateral mouse button, which makes uh, life easier for me when, I, when I'm when i using slash or uh, stroke, okay? So you just go there, okay? You press mouse button or you press like uh, key or whatever, like whatever you want, and then you save, okay? So let's jump into a match. So here we are on the server. Okay, um, yeah, so let's talk about it. So first of all, you have, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to show it from there already, yeah. You have the passive ability, which is obviously the movement in this case, like with Anarchy you have the, the air jump, with Slash you have the, the, the trail, and you have an active ability that it's also like, uh, it's also like part of the movement. So in, in order, I mean, you can use it like normally, but in order to get the full advantage of it, you need to understand how to move with Slash, which is the main thing of this video. So, again, Slash is a light champion, so she's gonna start in duel with uh, 125 zero armor. So 125 HP, zero armor, okay? In uh, DM and Anonly Trinity, you're gonna start with like 125-25. So in that match in public games, she's a bit stronger on that like side. So yeah, let's see. So basically, um, how does it work to move with Slash? So in the previous videos, again, if you haven't saw them, I suggest you to watch. We saw that some champions move like this, okay? So strafe jump. And some champion gain speed while they are jumping and they are going in the air, left and right, okay? Uh, CPMA movement. With Slash, I don't know if you ever, ever played Quake 4, but it's something similar to that lines. She's sliding, basically. So if you ever played Quake 4, you're gonna like, you're gonna like uh, remember something about this. So how does it work? Basically, you need to jump in order to first of all crouch. So there is no crouch, like you're crouching, you're not gaining speed right now, okay? You're not. So you need to always jump before like gaining speed. So when you jump, okay, I will do it like the easiest thing I can do right now. I jump and I press forward and I slide at the same time. This is my speed, it's really low, like, right? yeah, really like slow. But how am I already doing it? I suggest you to start from this point, okay? So. I'm pressing jump, I'm holding W, the V key on your keyboard, and I'm pressing mouse button, okay, which we bind for the crouch, you remember at the beginning of the video? Okay, so 
if we do it after like we press space first and then we combine W and uh, the mouse uh, button we have this okay Oh, we're gonna get speed from this because you're really slow. Yeah, so basically the secret It's a really simple you need to alternate Okay, so to do what I just did you see that it's already like faster, right? It's really faster like what I'm doing right now, but let's get it slowly Really faster than like doing this So what you need to do is instead of doing only W You need to start doing W A if you want to go to the left W and D if you want to go to the to the right But at the same time you also need to start moving your mouse Okay, so if you want to go to the right you move your mouse your camera to the right to gain speed So if you want to do this jump for example like if you want to do this jump and you do just like this It won't be easy to do like if you if you just do this You're not gonna gain enough speed because the angle you're turning the camera is not enough for your character to jump over that place, okay? So, let's recap just a little bit. Space, W, slide, and we have this. Space, W, E, and we look to the left, and we press the mouse button. So, we do this, okay? And if you want to go to the right, space, W, D, I will call it mouse 5, okay, which is the button. You can bind whenever we want, but this is where I bound it, basically. Okay? So, space, WD, and we look to the right and we place Crouch Slide 2, okay? Okay? That's how we do it. Okay? So, how we, we, gain, we gain some speed? So, every time you jump and you crouch, you will see that after a, a short time, the crouch will end. It's not infinite, okay? So, you have like, let's see. We start at uh, 4.55. Okay. It's like 2 seconds of sliding. Five minute warning. Okay, so, if you do this, it's always the same time, okay? Remember that it's really important to move your mouse and move your camera around. So, W... I will just not uh, talk about, I mean, you can also do like only A and D, but you won't gain any speed, um, unless you do like this, unless you do like lateral. If you want to go to the right, you can all, all, like also like only press A and uh, crouch, but the speed you're gonna get, it depends all, only on, on the mouse movement you do, okay? But you can do also like this, but you're gonna, you're gonna see that you get stuck in every wall, basically, if you are not paying attention, okay? So if you press W always, and then you just change it with the with the mouse and with DNA. So always remind that W has to be pressed always, and you can only do it when you jump. Okay, so jump D. So from this moment, I won't say W anymore. Just the direction. Okay, so D A A A A. And I'm moving my mouse always on the left right now. Left. Right, left D, okay, left D, left A, left D, A, okay. Then you can also like, when you're doing it, you can do like D and A, D and A and, and just change D, A, D, okay. So instead of jumping through the places, just do like, start this exercise with me. So we go only forward, forward, then we go only left, left, and then we go only right, right, okay. And now we go left and right and left. That's it. And once you learn this, you're gonna be able to do this this, uh, this stuff for sure. 100%. Okay. So right now I'm literally just... It's just about all about pressing jump, okay? So to, in order to do this, you, you notice that I'm always pressing jump. Because you, you when you press jump, you reset the, the counter for like the, the two seconds you're losing. You're spending when you do this. Every time you jump, you reset them. So you do this and jump, and jump, then jump again. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Okay. 
you can do the same. You can also, like, if you want to go backwards, instead of pressing W, of course, you're gonna press S, okay? It's a bit more difficult, but it's still, like, doable. To also, like, go only, like, backwards. And that's it. That's, uh, that's, like, it. There is nothing more to actually say about this. So, you can turn direction like this. It's really, really, actually, a really strong champion to use if you learn her. Okay. Okay. If you want to go, for example, there. So the, the best thing about this champion is that, okay, I'm gonna show you um, a difference. If you, if I am there, and I want to go there, and I am a ranger, this is the movement I'm gonna do, look, okay? Protection. Then once I'm there, I need to stop and turn again, and do like a 90 degree angle. Because I'm gonna like, uh, stuck in, I'm gonna get stuck in the wall if I like, just uh, do this. But with Slash you can do like this, for example. You go there, okay, and then you do this, look how fast you are, around the corners, okay? You, you don't have to stop, you just can't keep slagging, because you need to jump anyway. When you strafe, you jump, but like this, you're just gonna turn speed now, yole! Okay, that's it. One more thing to know about this, though. Um... You notice that I told you that, uh, um, <coughs> sorry, that I told you that uh, every time you jump and you do this, you have like two seconds, okay, like like this. But the higher you jump, the the more height you have on, like from the floor, the more time you're gonna stay on the crouch slide. So if you, if I jump from there and then I try to slide, look, I slide now. Sliding. That's a lot of difference instead of doing this. And I'm already stuck. So just doing from it this floor, look how far I can I get. I can do this two times, like, look. Insane, right? Instead of doing this only, look. So that's really important to know. So, thanks God we live in 2020 and we have YouTube, so now if you want to understand it again, you can go back on the world and just watch it slowly, you don't need to like do it all of a sudden, it takes some time. Guys, I spent 6-7 months to fully understand how to use Slash properly. I was one of the few players that didn't use Slash and I felt like it was really uh, hurting my gameplay, being able to not use such a really strong champion as Slash. So, if you have uh, some troubles with the movement, uh, I suggest you to just rewatch the video and you will get there like slowly, uh, but you will like it's not that impossible to do You just need to find uh, first of all I think the key is finding the perfect button to slide which I found in mouse 2 If you have the Logitech uh, Pro Wireless, I suggest you to bind there, okay, bind it there So we miss one thing though um, We talk about the movement, the stack we talk about how effective uh, the movement has to be and how the jump makes uh, makes everything like the eight makes it uh, um, longer. Now we talk about the plasma trail, which is the active ability of slash. Okay, so the plasma trail, it's like an ability, so a trail that uh, you can like spam uh, when you press F and you are sliding. So. I'm gonna do it without sliding, and you will see what's what's what what is it about. You will see that I'm doing this bit, okay? This is the trail, okay? And it destroys itself. So, I, this is first of all how the trail looks like. So if you are into a match and you see this thing, it's slash uh, slash uh, trail, okay? So now let's do it again. You saw that I gain speed, okay? So if you combine this that we just learned. Like when you when you crouch uh, slide, and while you are doing this, you also press F. You're gonna get a, a boost of speed, a really huge boost of speed. So let's say this is the speed I'm gonna get from the bridge to the rail, and this this is the maximum speed I'm gonna get. Look, okay, 600, 700, okay. It's around 800, 800, okay. Since I am there, okay. So this is how fast, and instead I will go to with ability. I got to 900, like 20 or something. So we learned that the 
trail makes you go faster, okay? And this is the only the first thing about the trail that it's really important to know, okay? So, the trail makes you go faster, that we just saw. It makes also damage. It makes damage over time if you're standing on the trail. And it also makes uh, like damage explosion when you uh, the, the trail explodes. So, I will show you again. So if someone is jumping through this, like let's say I do the trail, if someone is walking right there as an enemy, it's gonna get damage, okay? Like uh, ticking uh, over time. And instead, if uh, if the trail, like uh, if uh, someone stands in, uh, close to the trail and uh, and it explodes, it explodes next to them, uh, you're gonna do damage, okay? So how does it work? So, there are two ways you can use the trail. It can You can just use it and then leave it alone and let it like uh, uh, explode by itself. Or you can also like uh, press F again and you can time when the trail explodes, okay? So, when you use your ability, if you press F again right now, it's gonna explode instantly. And now you're gonna say, so what, what's the difference between uh, letting it go like full the way, like full time, and just pressing F again? Well, it's easy. If you, when someone is walking over the trail, you're gonna like hear the sound of the damage. So it's more probable that if he's uh, walking to the trail, he's close to the trail. So if you, have, if you press F uh, like instantly, it's gonna explode and do damage, okay? So that's it, that's the only thing to know. Uh, or instead of using it for like the movement, you can also use it to secure items or power-ups. So for example, let's say you are like playing a uh, deathmatch, there is the quad spawning. Quad is spawning in two seconds, you press F there, and you cover it, okay? And then if someone came close, you, you press F again, and it destroys itself. Or like for example, uh, let's do it again. You want, for example, to, if someone like, let's say, you are playing a duel, someone is pushing you, you are really low, the only way to go away from this room is taking the TP, you do this, okay, and you go away, and the guy has to go over there and get damage, basically, to get through the TP. So, that's it. Uh, that's how nice Slash can be. Oh, by the way, Slash is also the fastest champions in Quake. It's the fastest champions in Quake. You can get to 800 speed, pretty like uh, easy if you learn how to to slide, okay? And with the trail, you can get to 900, so it's a really insane amount of speed that you can get from uh, from air movement, okay? So we learned that Slash is a light first of all, which is the most important thing to know. She has 125 HP, 0 armor in duel. She has an active ability which is called Plasma Trail that we just showed. She has mo a movement which is also air passive that is called uh, Crouch Sliding. Okay. And uh, and yes, the higher we jump from, the more speed that we're gonna get. And the more, no, not the more speed, the more uh, endurance, the more stamina the champion has. So if I jump from there, we were 18 in the timer. Six seconds. Instead, if we do it from this uh, eight, one second and a half. Okay, so there is like a huge difference. Like I can do this. Okay, and it's like really good if you want to like if you learn how to like stop, how to jump and stop in the effective way. Like if you want to turn around, you won't do this. Okay, you can just do this for example, you turn around, you stop there and then you do this, you stop and you do this again, you stop and again, stop, jump, stop, jump, stop, jump, stop, jump, stop, jump, again, 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 okay, it will take some time but uh, you will manage to do it, I'm pretty sure about this, okay, so, yeah, that's it, that's it for today, uh, I hope you really liked the video, and uh, leave a like and sub subscribe to the channel if you want to like have more videos and uh, yeah if you're watching this video live like especially after 
Pro League, quick Pro League, remember today, 4 p.m. I'm gonna play around 8 ish p.m. against uh, Racy, so suggest you to watch because it's gonna be a fun match for sure. So, peace out, everyone, much love. Thank you again for the support as always, and play quick.